let Ron Hyatt take it away. All right. Thank you, Rob Anderson. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2014 presentation of the Adolf Efrup Trophy as sponsored by the Commonwealth Athletic Club of Kentucky. And as Rob indicated, my name is Ron Hyatt. I'm an executive committee member of the organization. And our organization was established back in 1972, uh, the year that Coach Rupp retired from the University of Kentucky after his 42 years of service, amassing uh, at that time the most winningest record in college basketball history. 876 wins and just 190 losses, Coach, for an incredible 82% winning record. So we are extremely proud and honored to be here in Omaha to present this year's award to who we consider the elite of the elite for this year. And uh, over his performances for the past four years as a Blue Jay at Creighton University, there's no one better finer to represent college basketball this year than this young man right here, Doug McDermott. So if I could just take a minute just to give you a little bit of background about our tremendous support and respect for Coach Rupp and the respect that he has always had with the winners of his award, I would like to share with you a couple of his thoughts as we travel around the country year after year and giving out this award. Anyone who knew Coach Rupp will tell you unequivocally that his only ambition at basketball was winning. And he is famous for having once said, if it doesn't matter if you win or lose, then why on earth keep score? So that has always been attributed to Coach Rupp. And as we knew that the only way to consistently win was through the pursuit of excellence and he demanded excellence from his players. He demanded excellence from himself, his staff, and everyone associated with the program. So for that reason, we are extremely proud of the tradition and the record at the University of Kentucky under Coach Rupp. Any former player of Coach Rupp will tell you that he never accepted less from a player than his absolute best. And he was rarely, if ever, satisfied in that regard. Coach's philosophy was that every player could always do better today than he did the day before. Very simple philosophy, but it was one that Coach lived by year after year. Coach Rupp in his day wanted to win by being the best. And those who knew him will tell you that if he ever heard of a team anywhere, anywhere in the country that someone thought was better than his Wildcats, the next thing he would do is get on the phone, call the coach up, schedule a game. Coach, we will come to you. We will play on your court with your officials. We want to see who is the best. And for that reason, this drive to prove himself and his teams against the best is what took Coach Rupp to the top of college basketball coaching. And when he did retire in 1972 as the winningest coach in college basketball history, that 82% winning percentage still stands as the highest winning percentage of any coach. Just a, a moment about our voting panel and how this wonderful award is presented to a, an exceptional player like Doug. Our voting panel is assembled by invitation only. And I can tell you that they include some of the most respected observers of college basketball in America. And among them are active and retired coaches with multiple national championships between them, active and retired sports writers representing every major basketball market in the nation, and active and retired college sports administrators. And as a club, our Commonwealth Athletic Club of Kentucky, this is the 43rd year that we have consecutively awarded this trophy in honor of Coach Adolph Rupp. Among the past recipients, you can see their names on this plate. 
Three-time winner, Bill Walton. Three-time winner, Ralph Sampson. Shaquille O'Neal, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Blake Griffin, Kevin Durant, and very shortly, Doug McDermott. Today, we are, as representatives of the Commonwealth Athletic Club of Kentucky, we're extremely honored to be here in Omaha to honor this young man that the committee has selected to receive the Rupp Trophy as our 2014 Player of the Year. To even try to summarize the litany of achievements that Rob had given me this afternoon, the three, four pages of records and the activities and the tremendous career that Doug has had here at Creighton would be an award-winning documentary. I would even try to, couldn't even attempt to summarize it. But I'm going to try to at least highlight some of the same statistics and some of the highlights that all of you here locally have been following in Doug's career. He is the fifth all-time scorer in NCAA history with 3,150 points. His career stats, he left Creighton scoring a 21.7 average, 46% not from the field goal average, but from the three-point, 46%, 83% from the charity stripe, and 55% field goal percentage. Consensus All-American for the past three years. And the first player to do that in 29 years, and we were there to present the award to Patrick Ewing, the last player to achieve that. Doug's freshman record, here at Creighton as a member of the Missouri Valley Conference, set a scoring record with 581 points. Sophomore year, he sets school season records with most points, most field goals, and again, an, an astounding 48.6% from the three-point strike, 48.6. His junior year, Doug led the nation in scoring and was second in the scoring average. He set school records for points in a season and career points. And then this incredible past year. Doug finished his senior year scoring 26.7. Um, and I guess even before mentioning that, I would like to recognize uh, that one special day in 2013, April 25th, which I guess maybe the residents of Omaha would call Celebration Day, the day that Doug announced that he was staying at Creighton and would not be entering the NBA draft. And that had to be one of the happiest days in the history of Omaha. Um, in his first year as a member of the Big East Conference, Doug, of course, became Player of the Year. And at the conclusion of his tremendous career, he is one of only three players in NCAA history who has collected 3,000 points and 1,000 rebounds. He has an NCAA record scoring in double figures in 135 of every game that he started as a freshman leading up to his senior year. 145 games as a starter double figures in 135 of those. And probably the most achieving element of his remarkable career, a consensus winner of every national award this past year, 14 in total. Um, Doug, it's just, it's just been a, a pleasure to follow your career and um, having this great opportunity of presenting this wonderful award. Uh, your dedication and work ethic are truly the hallmarks of what Coach Rupp and even your coach, your own father, I'm sure, demanded from their players. And at this time, I'm very honored and privileged to have with us 
Coach Greg McDermott, who we're going to recognize at this time. And if he would, Coach, if you would like to say a few words on behalf of his wonderful son and also your wonderful team. Well, thank you, Ron. That's the first time my name and Adolph Rupp's name have ever been in the first se in the same sentence. So, uh, thank you. And you know, I think uh, listening to you talk about Coach Rupp, I think uh, he would have enjoyed coaching Doug uh, because Doug was, you know, one of the rare players that demanded a lot of himself. Uh, always thought he could be better. Uh, you know, never, never got complacent uh, with his accomplishments. Uh, always wanted more and spent the time to make sure that uh, he was going to improve on a daily basis. And I don't think you, uh, you accomplish what he's accomplished without consistent improvement over the course of four years. So, you know, it was uh, obviously an honor to be uh, on the sideline to watch that transpire over four years. Uh, I'm pretty sure Doug's about had enough of me, but we had to come back for one more day here together. But it's been, uh, it's been a terrific ride, and he's represented our program, uh, our family, and the community of Omaha uh, and Creighton University in a first-class manner through, you know, throughout his four-year career. So uh, this is a fitting way you know, for, hi for him to really close the book uh, on his college career to, to receive an award uh, that's named after one of the greatest coaches of all time. Right. Thank you so much, Coach. Doug, your basketball accomplishments during the 2014 Division I college basketball season, and for that matter, your entire four-year stellar career here at Creighton is truly remarkable. Uh, but also, it can be noted that this year especially, you established an, an indelible spirit among today's youth. Uh, by your immeasurable influence and respect for performing at this level as the consummate college basketball player and as a student athlete for the past four years. And myself being uh, in education for the past 22 years, I can tell you the impact you even made with our kids in Kentucky. They followed you, they watched you, and they just followed you as you earned the respect of everybody in the country. And for that reason, we are extremely proud at this time on behalf of the Commonwealth Athletic Club of Kentucky and on behalf of the Rupp family, it is indeed an honor to present the 2014 Adolph F. Rupp Trophy as the NCAA Men's College Basketball Player of the Year to Doug McDermott, of the Creighton University Blue Jays. Thanks Doug, so it's my pleasure. Yeah, I mean, I just really appreciate you guys making the trip here for us. Um, it means a lot to me and my family. Um, you know, this this one means a lot to me, especially um, just Coach Rupp, just a legend. You know, I think his family and everyone back in Kentucky would be proud that we kept it blue and white yeah. at least. Uh, so that, I mean, just a huge honor. Um, and just being back in Omaha, being able to accept the award, um, you know, words can't describe um, the feeling. Um, but just really just to thank my teammates uh, for making it all possible. Um, you know, I just can't express enough how much they're uh, with me with all this. Um, you know, we got three other seniors that are, are playing professionally overseas that couldn't be here today, but um, just to wish them the best and, you know, just wish everyone in Omaha the best and uh, just truly an honor. And I um, once again appreciate um, you making the trip, trip for us. Well, thank you. It is indeed a privilege for all of us that uh, – from the uh, club to have this uh, honor. And I, I do want to share something with all of you from the Omaha area. Uh, yesterday, when we arrived in town, it was uh, our intention to try to visit as many of the, the area sites that we wanted to, to visit in such a short amount of time. But one of the first places I wanted to attend, of course, was Boys Town. And then when I attended Boys Town, uh, 
spent quite a bit of time, of course, in the gift shop before I went to the chapel and um, the history, the Hall of History. And I met a, the lady who was at the counter of uh, Boys Town Gift Shop. And we got into a conversation and she discovered we were from Kentucky, despite our, she said, you can't be from Kentucky, you don't talk like a Kentuckian. But uh, we told her why we were in town. And she says, you mean another award for Doug? <laughs> and right away she said, we love this young man. We just love him. And that was the first comment that we started hearing. We went to a couple of other places, and the same thing. We love this young man and what he's done for Creighton, what he's done for Omaha. We love you, Doug, for what you've done to Creighton, Omaha, the country, and college basketball. And again, on behalf of the Rupp family and Commonwealth Athletic Club, we congratulate you. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you very much. I do have one closing comment, and this is directly from the Rupp family, Coach Rupp's son, who unfortunately was not able to join us, but he sent this message, Doug. We extend our sincere congratulations and best wishes to Doug McDermott, winner of the Adolph F. Rupp National Player of the Year Award. I am sorry that I could not be in attendance for this auspicious occasion due to illness. My heartfelt congratulations to you for a successful and prosperous future. Sincerely, Adolph Rupp Jr. and family. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Again, if you've got questions, raise your hand. The van's got a microphone, and so come to you. Doug, you've had, uh, I guess, time now to soak it all in. I mean, what you did. Uh, here at Creighton, getting your final award. I mean, after having some time to think about everything that's that's happened, I mean, what does it mean to you? Uh, it just means it means a lot. You know, uh, like I said, you know, this one just being back here to accept it, I thought it was really cool. Um, just because you know this is where it all happened, and uh, just to accept it here in the city um, is really cool. And uh, you know, I'm still reflecting on you know past times. You know, hasn't been very long, but it's still. Uh, it's starting to hit me a little bit coming back, you know, coming to this brand new facility um, that I f really feel like, you know, uh, not just our group, our group of seniors, but everyone in the past is kind of built. And uh, it just feels feels awesome just walking here and walking in here, seeing what um, what the what the future holds, and it's just really exciting. Did you think you were done getting awards? Or? <laughs> I really did. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you know, just like I said, it's it's cool. You know the, um, you know, j just so many um, great names. You know, on this on this um, for this award, and just to be in their company, um, it's pretty surreal to be honest. And uh, you know, I think uh, I think the awards will will stop now. Doug, can you fill us in on what uh, what kind of the timeline is over the next couple months for you? Um, you know, I'm just here um, for a little bit longer, and uh, I'll head back to Chicago um, early September and uh, just start training. You know, I feel like I've been training in there for a while now, and now I'll be there for good um, once that starts and just do, you know, individuals with their, with their coaching staff and um, get familiar with their plays and stuff like that. And then uh, we, we'll start training camp on, on the 30th of September. And... Uh, from there, uh, preseason games. I think the first one's October sixth, um, and then everything starts. So uh, it should be really cool um, just to get this opportunity, being on a team that's fairly close to here as well, and um, a really good team that you know has a chance to compete for a title. I think uh, you know it should be really cool to be a part of, especially my first year. What was your reaction when you saw your first home game was going to be against LeBron? Uh, I just thought it was really cool. You know, I, uh, my my first reaction was the road game at the Garden. Um, I think that was um, really exciting too, just because um, just being out there for the Big East tournament and playing St. John's, and you know, we like we like it there. So it's just uh, um, that that was cool. But now playing LeBron, you know, on Halloween, um, I'm sure uh, should be a pretty packed house.
Yeah, Doug, JP from Channel 7. Uh, what what do you think uh, you're playing with D. Rose? You think you're going to get a lot of looks playing with D. Rose? You're going to be able to uh, get more threes? What yeah. Um, I think with playing with D. Rose, he definitely uh, – he draws a lot of attention. You know, he's uh, you know one of the best point guards in the league, and I think uh, you know there's a lot of great guys on the Bulls. So I think uh, you know they they um, present a lot of attention for themselves, and you know I think uh, I think I'll definitely get more looks you know from the perimeter, and uh, just because you know the defense will collapse on on those guys, and you know I think I'll get some some pretty good looks you know to start. So what what do you think your chances are this year? At, uh, Making the playoffs with Chicago. Um, you know, I, I like our chances. You know, I think uh, we got a great team. I think with the addition of you know Pau Gasol um, and a couple other guys, I think uh, I think we got a really good shot. You know, it's a great veteran team. Um, obviously, great coaching staff um, and you know great fan support. So I, you know, I, I definitely hope we make it and uh, hope we go far. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.